We want to talk a bit about uh, uh, some disappointing news about Brisbane Road as far as the state level. Well, you know, we've been working with uh, local economic development groups, the uh, communities in Morris and Manuka and Shanahan uh, for the eventual construction of Brisbane Road. It's going to be a, a big generator of jobs. There's a lot of development that will occur, particularly commercial and industrial development will occur after the Brisbane Road interchange is, is completed. You know, my biggest disappointment uh, when the governor failed uh, to include it in his transportation plan is uh, the state promised that if I obtained federal funds that they were going to match those dollars uh, so we can complete the construction sure. of the Brisbane Road Interchange. Unfortunately now it's been almost three years since we obtained federal funds and the cost of this project have gone up significantly. Uh, so I'm very disappointed that the, the governor uh, failed to, to uh, frankly honor the promise that the state of Illinois made uh, to match the federal funds we obtained in the highway bill. Obviously I'm very committed to working with Senator Dahl and Representative Gordon uh, to do what we can to, to get it included uh, in, the, in the transportation plan for the state of Illinois because the transportation plan is a five-year plan. So if uh, the governor sticks by what he put out earlier this spring, that means nothing will occur on the Brisbane Road for five more years. Obviously, truck traffic continues to increase every day. There's a tremendous amount of economic opportunity, uh, which is waiting uh, for that Brisbane Road interchange. So it's jobs lost for the Grundy County area. Sure, and uh, with now you said the money, the money that that you've put up or the federal government's put up and uh, you've secured for that project. That's available for for five years, but we're three years into that. Well, the, that the, the funds that uh, we yeah. uh, we were able to obtain are we're including what's called the highway bill. And the highway bill, every five years, we do a uh, reauthorization of the formula. And Illinois was a big winner. Uh, Illinois, in the past, has historically been has not received a lot of money uh, compared to other states. Uh, we changed that. Fortunately, we had the Speaker of the House that helped. But we changed the formula, and Illinois was one of the top ten winners. Got an extra three hundred million dollars okay. plus. On top of that, I was able to uh, to earmark some projects, uh, including uh, the Brisbane Road Interchange. At that time, uh, Secretary of Transportation Tim Martin and the Governor's Office said, you know, we'll match that, you put up half the money, uh, we'll put up the other half, we'll get this project built. Well, they failed to deliver on their, on their promise. It's kind of the same arrangement. When I obtained the federal funds that cemented the deal to replace the Morris Bridge, we had that same kind right, of arrangement. Right. We had some federal funds earmarked specifically for the project. The state will match it and we'll construct it. I and mean, that was the deal we had for the Morris Bridge. And of course, uh, we had, it was then Governor Edgar. He honored his promise. Unfortunately, Governor Blagojevich has not honored his promise. That was made three years ago. All right. Now, uh, regarding uh, some money coming, coming your way or coming our way is the uh, Arsenal Road. That project, yeah. you see some money there. Well, you know, transportation but has increasingly become a big issue. Will County is was named uh, the eighth most congested county in America by USA Today last week. Grundy County's right next to Will County. A lot of people in the Grundy County area commute into into the Will County area, so they experience that every day. And as this area grows, transportation becomes a bigger concern. We have 45,000 trucks a day going going through the Arsenal Road interchange. Uh, the job creation at the former Joliet Arsenal is been a great success story um, and we've been working to uh, replace uh, uh, the Arsenal Road interchange. Uh, Governor Ryan had promised back in 2001 to replace the interchange. Uh, unfortunately it hasn't occurred yet but it was included in the state's transportation plan I think in the year 2009 so it's a couple years away but the, it is included and, and that's good news. But there's a lot more that needs to be done. Anyone who's driven uh, from Coal City or Diamond or Braidwood area north or comes or commutes south, sees uh, the tremendous gridlock we have, particularly at the Arsenal Road interchange, but also the bridges going over the Kankakee and the Plains River. And uh, I've been advocating that we widen I-55. Currently, it's being widened from Weber Road south to uh, I-80 to six lanes, three and a side. Uh, I argue that we need to widen it to 113 to six lanes. There's a lot of economic development activity that's occurring, particularly in the Lorenzo Road interchange. And as we see that. That's going to increase truck traffic uh, in a very, very significant way. So if we're going to address gridlock, it's best to be ahead of it rather than behind it. And unfortunately, uh, transportation infrastructure uh, always seems to follow the development rather than getting out front. That's why Brisbane Road is so important, getting that interchange constructed, and also widening uh, I-55, Interstate 55 South to Route 113.